Welcome to StoneCoin.org. This is a quick tutorial video on how the new StoneCoin bridge works and how you can access it and use it for yourself. Uh, first, for a little reference, uh, the Stone StoneCoin bridge allows users to take their StoneCoin and bridge it into the Binance network. So you're wrapping the stone coin into what's called a wrapped stone coin. So the wrapped stone coin is actually a token which resides on the Binance network. Um, the stone coin to wrapped stone coin uh, is, a, is equal one to one. So one stone coin is equal to one wrapped stone coin. Now, the reason we did this is currently stone coin is a layer one cryptocurrency, uh, which means it's great at independently functioning on its own blockchain. Uh, uh, but it's kind of limited in what it can do and having allowing for a wrapped stone coin this gives us the potential to join the Binance ecosystem um, which allows for faster transactions uh, the ability to use Binance decentralized apps wallets financial services all kinds of stuff so it opens up a lot of windows and doors to the stone coin community um, we can just leverage an extensive amount of um, data and information on the Binance network. Uh, to get st started, so this is just a tutorial on how to um, actually transition from SOH Stonecoin to WSOH Wrap Stonecoin. Um, the first thing you'll need to do is to download a new wallet called the MetaMask wallet. If you're not familiar with MetaMask, it is a browser-based wallet. Um, you go to metamask.io and you can download it to your browser. Once you've done that, you then need to um, either import a wallet or, or create a new one. It'll give you a 12 word key, private key that you need to save and you cannot lose and do not share that with anybody. So now as you see here, um, this is my um, MetaMask wallet. And one other thing you need to know on the wallet is when you first download it, it'll start out on this Ethereum mainnet, which is not, this is the Ethereum mainnet. You need to actually import ad network the Binance network, which I've already done, and so then you need to switch it to the BNB chain, which is where the WSOH Rapstone coin is located. So switch to the BNB. Once you've done that, we're going to go over to the um, bridge, and you're going to need to connect your wallet. So mine's already connected. Did. I gotta make sure I'm connected to the proper, see I'm connected on Ethereum, which won't work, so I gotta switch to BNB. There we go, so it connected. Um, you'll notice I already have 75 WSOH because I ran a deposit yesterday for testing. And you can see in the history here, um, that deposit. So when you're in the overview, you'll be able to look at how many BNB you have, Wrapstone, and Cake you have. Um, and for more information, you can click on the Get Started link and it will go through step by step as well what you need to do um, to get yourself some wrap stone to deposit and withdraw. So to de deposit is very simple. If you click on the deposit, once you're connected, your MetaMask is connected, you're, you'll be given a StoneCoin public key and you need to copy that and you need to send StoneCoin to this address. When doing that, um, keep in mind that there's a 25 SOH cost. So if you send 100, you'll receive 75 stone. Also, it takes 25 blocks for it to confirm. So after a couple blocks have confirmed, once you've sent StoneCoin to this address, you'll notice um, in the transaction history, right here, you'll notice a hash and this will say pending. Um, and you can click on that and it'll take you to Stone Explorer and show you um, the actual transaction that's occurring. So we have 224 confirmations on this one that I tested yesterday. 100 stone coin were sent to this address here, which is this address. And then once 25 confirmations have occurred, it will then automatically create wrapped stone coin and deposit it to your account, and then you'll see them here. And so you can, and then you can actually then import this token address here. It's simple to do, you just click that. All this does is it adds the token to your wallet so you can view it. If you don't do that, your stone, your wrap stone coin will be in the wallet, but you just not be, might not be able to see it when you click on MetaMask. So now you can see your 75 stone coin here. 
and that's it. That's how you deposit stone coin and get stone. And so then you can go to pancake swap or other um, different decentralized exchanges and um, use decentralized apps on the Binance network as well with this wrapped stone coin. So now to withdraw, it's uh, just as easy. You put in your stone coin address that you want to withdraw from, and then you have to uh, put in how many wrapped stone you want to withdraw. You cannot put in more wrapped stone than you curr currently have in your wallet. And when there's a withdrawal, there's also a 25 wrapped stone coin fee as well. And what's the purpose of the fee? It's uh, to pay for help pay for the uh, servers, um, help the, the stone coin funding, all that other stuff. And that price, this 25 will be reduced as the stone coin price goes up as well. One other note when you're withdrawing, you do have to have some BNB because there's like a five cent BNB cost when withdrawing. A pop up message will occur when you click, click withdraw from MetaMask here and it'll say confirm and it's gonna cost about five cents in BNB to withdraw your stone coin as well. And then you can track everything that's going on through the history here. So you can view on the Binance network, the actual transit transaction of the 75 stone that were created and sent to your, your uh, BNB address. So this is your Binance network address down here. And this is the address that the stone coin will be sent to so that it shows up on your MetaMask wallet. And you can do that here as well. So this is pretty simplified, quick overview of how the bridge works. The bridge is actually rather simple um, and you can actually um, connect other MetaMask wallets if you have your MetaMask wallet um, private key saved. You can actually delete this from the browser and then add a new one. And then if you want, you can import um, accounts as well back into your MetaMask. So, that's it. If you have questions, please let, leave them in the comments. We're going to create more videos on how to create liquidity on PancakeSwap and how else we can use Wrapped Stone Coin in the future as well. Thank you and have a great day.